Cricket Australia and the Australian Cricketers Association have come to an in-principle agreement, finally ending a stalemate over the MOU. Very pleased to be sitting up here with Alistair to announce that Cricket Australia and the ACA have arrived at in-principle agreement for the heads of agreement as a basis for the next MOU. Discussions went 34 days past the June 30 deadline for a new MOU. The heads of the two organisations signing off on an agreement after another round of meetings in Melbourne on Thursday. Months of discussions now sees a way clear for Australia's male and female cricketers, as well as domestic players, to receive significant pay increases over the next five years. This comes after the Australia A Tour of South Africa was boycotted by players who resolved not to take the field until a new MOU was in place. Cricket Australia CEO James Sutherland said a deal was made with both parties making concessions throughout. Neither side has got everything that we wanted out of these negotiations, but they shouldn't be approached uh, with a winner-takes-all mindset. And in that spirit, I think we've reached a good compromise. ACA CEO Alistair Nicholson detailed the key points of the agreement that will carry through until June of 2022. Five-year term. One agreement for all male and female players for the first time in Australian cricket. A revenue sharing model ensuring all players, male and female, are partners in the game of cricket. A gender equity pay model with the biggest pay rise in the history of women's sport in Australia. Cricket Australia remains confident that player relationships with the organisation will be mended in time. I'm really confident that um, those relationships will be strong and um, it's our job as administrators to support uh, the Australian players and those in state associations as well to give their best effort on the field and hopefully for uh, Australian cricket teams to win. Australia's male players now turn their attention to a two-test series against Bangladesh, with a training camp in Darwin beginning next week. And with the players now contracted, both CEOs put to bed rumours around their respective positions. You both committed to remaining in your respective jobs in the medium to long term? I am. I do. <laughs>